Hello fellow Battlefield players and welcome here to my first Battlefield Hardline video commentary from the retail version of the game. Hope you guys will enjoy this epic gameplay here. Um, was one of my first rounds of plays in this game. Luckily from the pre-order bonus I got in my pre-order battle back the ACWR which is also beast in this game. So if you get it then <laughs> you can be happy. Because I don't think anyone can get it because there are three like pre-order weapons you can get unless you bought the like the deluxe or the expensive edition and uh, then you get all three and the awesome thing about it is you can use this caravan uh, with the operator class uh, in the beginning and on both sides so on the cops and the robber side which is a huge advantage in my opinion because the RO9 something <laughs> you get in the beginning it's not one of the best weapons, I guess, if you don't have any attachments on it. But here you see me. I have unlocked in this gameplay, actually, I think, the cover side for it already. But for some reason, I haven't equipped it. Um, but I, I choose the silencer here. I choose the silencer because it makes the weapon so much awesome. And if you're really uh, struggling in Battlefield Hardland, then I, I really I recommend you using the suppressor. Because it's so easy to sneak up on enemies. They don't know where you are. You can see me here. Uh, probably I wouldn't have gotten this kill here um, uh, without a silencer because when I shot the first guy the other one would have saw me on the minimap and if he's a decent player he would have killed me and in, in an instant because I didn't know where he is here nice a double kill so really an awesome around I get a lot of kills with this setup here and later uh, I think one or two rounds after that I also unlocked the amount of cocktails or bought them actually uh, which are also kind of fun to use because you get two of them and just to like lure the enemy out or like uh, give you some time to reload or something. But here you see <laughs> this guy was clueless that I was around here. Luckily I was reacting a little bit faster and gotten the kill. But I have to say uh, they decreased the fire rate uh, compared to Battlefield 4 from the ACWR but it's still like 800 rounds per minute compared to the 880 in the Battlefield 4 but it's still an awesome weapon and uh, with a decreased fire rate I think it's even more like uh, accurate than in Battlefield 4 of course and you can see in this gameplay it totally wrecks even on mid-range with the suppressor on it and it made my life so much easier than in the beta I played or in the second beta where I had to grind out the first weapons and get with the starting weapons some attachments to make it good but uh, when I uh, when you unlock like the extended max for this weapon also, then it makes it even more deadlier. And I can't not stress enough how awesome it is to like play with a silencer. And here you see me go on an epic long uh, killing uh, streak or a pretty long one. I pick up some nice kills here. So if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Would really help out the channel. Every like helps. And leave a comment. Uh, if you want to see uh, some special setup or so me that I want to play or I have to unlock or something, um, would really appreciate it if you guys leave me here some comments and feedback on this video. Another quality on this is not perfect because my Elgato for some reason was like uh, the settings were changed or something, um, so it wasn't set to high quality and only 720p. But <laughs> I mean, on the PlayStation, it's only 900p, and I also experienced some frame drops, so maybe they should have also like decrease the frame rate to 720 as on the Xbox because on the Xbox early access it was pretty smooth actually but I mean you can argue if you want a smoother frame rate or want to have a nicer resolution but you can see me getting some amazing kills here and there and with the silencer I mean I wouldn't have been able uh, to go on this kill streak on this epic kill streak here without a silencer equip it, it just wouldn't be possible unless you play against all level 1 players, <laughs> probably retards or something. <laughs> but I mean here we get finally taken out, but I think we got even revived here from our awesome teammate, which is not too common um, on launch day or in the launch week where not everyone has the defibrillator or the syringe that you can uh, bring back people to life uh, unlocked. So that was kind of nice. that. <laughs> Luckily I got this guy in my squad. I think we're now at like 24 and 3 kills or something. And 25 or something now. That's a pretty amazing. And I also had to cut this uh, gameplay town a bit. Because it was like a 50 minute round. Which is not the common in Battlefield Tartland. But it was even. But in the end we lost. So we got 23 actually to 4 right now. 
Um, but I only wanted to show you like the awesome parts here. You're unlucky that I uh, can't pick up this kill and it was a pretty funny one. Try to chase him around. I thought he laid down here. But finally we get the kill and also we pick up here in a minute the stinger because I see those uh, this helicopter here and we also take out the helicopter which is really awesome I mean you have to know uh, where to get it on this map um, the stinger is pretty awesome especially if the enemy team got a really annoying pilot uh, that just wrecks your team and farms kills because it's really hard sometimes to deal with choppers in this game because you have to uh, pick up the stinger and the rocket launchers and stuff like that from the map but then again, it's also probably a good thing because if we everyone could use like stingers or or the mechanic class or something, then probably <laughs> the uh, choppers would be hugely underpowered. And here we get a nice some hit markers, but it wasn't enough, fortunately, to get the kill. But with the silencer, I can understand it. But we get the kill assist here, and also get this guy thinking. If you really like burst fire the weapon, it can be really really effective. And you saw me here uh, in this gameplay getting some really easy kills and that probably not the best players I played against but I mean after that I also recorded a few other rounds where I was pretty beasting with the ACWR and I'm playing with extended max and with her like a nice sight on it but I have to say if you're struggling put a silencer on the weapon play a bit more cautious look at the minimap all the time sneak up on the enemies and make sure you tap fire that weapon um, especially like with the ACWR it can be deadly and here you see me also like picking up this kill pretty nice stuff here so again if you like it please leave a thumbs up for this awesome Battlefield Hardline video here and here you saw me like sliding around the ground I mean it's still like a little glitch that is in the beta and if you're also wondering if the servers are pretty good or the netcode on the final product I can tell you it's a, a pretty blast and joy to play of course you're on launch day here and there there are some little hiccups but nothing nearly compared to like battlefield 4 where <laughs> it was basically unplayable and also with the rubber banding and all these issues yes, so it's, it's really uh, nice it feels nice to play it and also like with the faster pace it, it has to be like it's really important that the netcode works do you see me uh, playing here in the end of the round where the sandstorm kicks in on the map I mean, I know the map was also like in the second beta, but uh, it was the first awesome gameplay I've recorded here with the ACWR and I just want to upload it quickly for you. Um, the next gameplays I will upload are probably on some different maps, hopefully, but I also want to focus right now on Conquest in the beginning of Battlefield Hardline because it's so much fun right now and if I get tired of the maps, then I change it up to like Blood Money and or even like some other game modes but uh, i don't think i will uh, play team deathmatch or something that soon unless i have to farm some kills with like shotguns or something then probably if you want to unlock some stuff for that then it's pretty awesome but yeah this game is coming to an end if you liked it please leave a thumbs up would really appreciate it 31 to 6 a pretty nice round thanks for watching guys and see you on the battlefield